Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State, Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Radicals, Question 5, Multiply Radical Expressions. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order your complete CRAM session. Review Question 5, Multiply Radicals. Express the product of 3 radical 20 times 2 radical 5 minus 7 in simplest radical form. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. Alright, so in multiplying radicals, what we're going to do is multiply the coefficients and then um, the radicals or the radicands. And when radicand, that's spelled R A D I C A N D, and these are the terms underneath the uh, radical symbol. Okay? And remember that when the index is not written, this automatically means we're taking the square root of a number, okay? All right, so let's head into the process. If we're to distribute um, 3 first to 2, we're going to get 6. And in multiplying radicals, you're allowed to mul multiply the radicands, the radicand terms. So 2 times 20 is 100. We're going to get um, 6 radical 100, or 6 times the square root of 100 for the first term. And when we distribute 3 radical 20 to the second um, expression in this binomial, we're going to get 21 radical 20 because we're multiplying the coefficients or the non-radical terms, okay? So the result should look something like this. But notice we're able to further simplify the first expression because this is a perfect square. The radicand 100 is a perfect square because 10 squared or 10 times 10 is going to yield 100. So that this portion simplifies to 10. And what we also want to do is further um, break down radical 20 into perfect squares and non-perfect square portions, okay? We can extract a four times five, four being a perfect square. And let me just show you what I mean by that. All right, and when you um, factor a radicand, you're allowed to assign separate radical symbols to each factor, and you're still going to maintain multiplication, okay? And since four is a perfect square, because two squared yields four, um, radical four, the square root of four simplifies to two, and if you distribute the two to the 21, you're gonna get 42 radical five. So Oh, and also you can multiply 6 times 10, so the result is going to be 60 minus 21 times 2 times radical 5, or 60 minus 42 radical 5. And notice we're asked to express our answer in simplest radical form. That means this is the final answer. We're not going to further simplify 42 radical 5 into a decimal portion because we're not told to do that. We're given the specific instruction of in simplest radical form, okay? So let's say you're given that on your standardized test or a regents, you can leave the answer as such. Don't go any further, okay? All right, thanks for tuning in. Good luck studying.